what we're in the middle of is the greatest crime in history for a small number of people who are usurpers, the last folks to make it to civilization on any major way, deciding to revise all of history to make themselves the creators of everything. As I said in the film, um, American Maroon, these folks will tell you bowel movement is white. Every, that Because they're so insecure, and I'll point anyone, there's a book by William Shirer called The Berlin Diary. You can get yourself a copy. William Shirer, S-H-I-R-E-R, William Shirer. He did also kinds of books on Nazi Germany. One of the key things I'll never forget, and that book is online. It's on YouTube. You can listen to it for free, even if you're broke. There's a certain point where Adolf Hitler, with a group of folks, is making fun of Heinrich Himmler, the founder of the SS, the people who killed all the Jews and the other people in Europe and in, and, and, and Russia and all over, that Hitler was making fun of Heinrich Himmler, who stupidly believed that there was some ancient white Aryan civilization that was the source of everything. And even Hitler, who was not a dummy, would make fun of and laugh and joke about how stupid Himmler was trying to find an ancient white civilization that never existed. And it was an inside joke that this man was a fraud. So Adolf Hitler, supposedly the father of white supremacy and white hate, didn't think that the Germans had any ancient greatness. And by the way, Hitler's not alone. They all know it's a lie. And so let's just bring it forward. You know, Dr. Winters and I always talk about ancestry, and I'm more than willing to say to you, within the last month, I submitted twice unsuccessfully to 23 and me uh, DNA test because I wanted to learn more about, you know, roots. And I have it in documentation and I can take a picture of my bank statements that 23 and me has told me that they will not do further tests on me and they refunded me, but they'll never refund me again if I submit for a DNA test. And they said they could not find my DNA after two efforts and they would not try a third time. I could do it if I wanted to, but they simply would take my money and not refund me. And I want to say to you, it's crazy. How could you not find my DNA? I put enough spit in there, more spit than what you'd see in a porno. Where, how could you, how could you not find my DNA? Two times. And by the way, when you get asked to do a refund or told to do a refund for 23andMe, you're supposed to write something, tell them why, and submit a kit number. I couldn't find my kit number. I asked to speak to someone. They didn't even get back to me. They just gave me, they not only gave me the money for my kit, they gave me the money for my postage. I'm supposed to fund you for the kit. They gave me everything. They just go away, nigger. And I'm thinking, what? What did I do? Why are they angry with me? They just shut my page down and everything. What what am I what did I do? What well, you did, what you did is this is that they know once they did your once once they did your DNA and they started showing all these people who you had connections with, they didn't want that to get out. They didn't want that to get out. They remember 23 and remember what they do is that they connect you with other people that 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 carry the same genetic the same genome throughout this country and they didn't want they didn't want you to know your connections and that is dangerous they don't want you to know the truth yeah so what they, what they don't know and this is sort of where we need to begin to understand that there's a big lie going on here the biggest lie, I was just downtown. The next time I go downtown, I'm going to go to the National Gallery of Art and take a picture of a major painting on the second floor of the natural, National Portrait Gallery. Uh, there's a picture, a painting of George Washington's family. And um, on the same picture is a person clearly black who the artist painted 
to look just like George Washington. And they smeared the paint on the face of the person. But if you look, you can see the lines that that person literally drew a face identical to George Washington on the body of this black person in the George Washington family. But that artist understood he better not show people that George Washington either has a brother or a son that's clearly black. And the families are named Syfax and Quander. Uh, I grew up with them. I grew up with people who look like George Washington. In fact, the school that I went to was in a place called, you've heard of it, Mount Vernon. I grew up in Mount Vernon, Virginia. And the teachers at school took pains to always teach us that George Washington was sterile and that George Washington had no children. That may sound okay to you guys, but Mr. Winters is older than me. Have you ever heard of teachers talking about sex? Old school no. teachers? Not in my school. They do it no. today, though. But... No, they do it today, but do you think that when they're doing this in 1964, 1965, 1969, I started school in 1968. Why are they teaching us George Washington sterile in 1968, Dr. Winters? I'm three years old. Why? And I'll tell you, the neighborhood next to where I lived is called Gum Springs. It's been slowly swallowed up by development, but Gum Springs was a neighborhood that was based, built on land that was given to George Washington's son. Are you understanding me, people? Yes. And what, what I'm saying is that when they talk about the founding fathers and all this other stuff, a lot of the people who are the descendants of the founding fathers all look like us. I would go even further to say to you, right here in the D.C. area, there's a family with the name Bonaparte. Yes, Napoleon Bonaparte's descendants are Black people who live in the D.C. area meaning the last royal house of France <laughs> is among black folks who may be driving a bus or living in public housing. If you don't think that people don't know these kinds of things, or a gentleman who's like a third cousin of mine, reaching out to tell me, hey, by the way, did you know you were related to George Washington? And did you know that you were related to Abraham Lincoln? Did you know you're related to Thomas Jefferson? Did you know that you're related to Robert E. Lee? <laughs> Did you know you're related to Stonewall Jackson? Um, and then another cousin, White, calls and says, Did you know that you're related to Governor Gavin Newsom of California? Now, do you know, my friends, this is why even now they're looking at coronating Prince Charles as King Charles. And the big problem is Meghan Markle. The problem is, is that Meghan Markle has Moorish blood <laughs> and descent, and she's royalty. And that she's more royal than they are. And Meghan Markle's family is from Henrico County, Virginia as are many Black Americans and descendants of the first people that were brought into Virginia. And, and other words, and they're even doing research over in England and other places looking for the British royal lineage. And they know it's here. And some of the people don't look like the folks in the palaces. And you have to understand the people in the palaces now are German and they're not even high grade Germans. Right. But even and more so even even more than that is that 97 Thomas 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 Cromwell he destroyed 97% of the royal art in England, Wales and Scotland. He sought out every picture of a black person, black royal and he destroyed it and had them repainted. Had them repainted as if they were white. Can you imagine that 
He went into monasteries. He went into the, the rich homes. Anything that had a black face, he took it and threw it away. That's why today they only got about 5% of the actual art, the actual photograph, the actual, you know, paintings and statues of and, black, of the real royalty of Britain. And Dr. Wonders, remember I sent you that archaeological find that they found in, uh, they're having to reconsider who the original Europeans were. And they had a picture of this person, the European people showed the original inhabitants of Europe. And you saw that, I know I sent it to you. Yeah. And the persons were represented, clear up black people. I wrote, was, I wrote, remember I wrote a book on that. You got it in your library. <laughs> yes. The Grimaldi people and others, even the Laplanders, and if you notice, a lot of people from Spenland, Norway, Denmark, the so-called so pure white Nordic people, they have better looking noses and lips than a lot of English and other people have. That's, you, because the Danes, that's because the Danes were black. The Danes were not white. The Danes yeah. were black and they're descendants of the Moors that used to rule up there. See, that's why in a sense the, the Vikings, You've been told a lie. They teach you that the Vikings were white. Vikings were blacks. They were the, the original Danes. That's why they called them doob over in, uh, over in Ireland. And see what yeah, happens? And the doob, doob means black. And there's another word. Um, if you ever watched, uh, 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 what's that thing? Uh, Dallas. Yeah, the movie, the show's called Dallas. Uh -huh. And the guy's name was Patrick Duffy. A lot of people don't know that Duffy means black. Right. And, and, and what's even more is if you notice, if people would really look at, look at the blondes, the blondes in the 1950s and early 60s had wide noses and big lips. <laughs> and Marilyn Monroe had to get her nose made smaller. <laughs> yeah. And she had to be made more Caucasoid looking. Yeah. She had the body, but she didn't have the face. And it's not just her. I mean... Look, I, I've done different things. I remember a couple of years ago, I think the last time I was allowed on InfoWars, I made a comment. I challenged David Dukes, supposedly the most famous Klansman in the country. I said that David Dukes was a fraud for stealing white people's money because he's black like me. And white people needed real white leadership, but David Dukes couldn't provide it. And if David, David Dukes need to give these white people their money back, tell them I'm a mulatto and I know one when I see one. Uh -oh. <laughs> I said to, to David yeah, Duke, see. he needs to take a DNA test. If he wants me, he needs to prove to me and everybody else that he's really white. And, and, this, and stop lying to white folks about being white. Do you know David Dukes has had a chemical peel? He's had nose jobs. He's had as much facial surgery as Michael Jackson uh -huh. to make himself look white. If you get an old picture of David Dukes, in fact, when I was at my cousin's uh, aunt's, I mean, grandmother's funeral, I saw a couple of kids in her family from down in Virginia that look like David Dukes. David Dukes comes from Louisiana. The states of Louisiana and South Carolina in particular are notorious because up to one in five or one in four whites have a high amount of, of, of definite African ancestry or black ancestry. Right. David Dukes, when you look at him and you see how big his nose is, there was a Puerto Rican uh, comedian named Freddie Prinz. David Dukes and Freddie Prince could be twins. David Dukes has dyed his hair. He's done all of that. And in fact, you know, David Dukes's first wife left him because she couldn't stand him looking at black porn all day. Mm -hmm. huh? Getting paid to hate black folks in the day to spend money looking at black sex all night. These contradictions you'll see and a whole bunch of people doing all kinds of racist stuff. To, it's basically, as Shakespeare says, says the lady doth protects, protest too much. Some of the most bigoted people you'll see 
are people who know goodness well. They're not what they sort of look like. And so they overact on racial hatred to, to shield the fact that they are not what you think they are. David Dukes is a mulatto, and I challenged him on a pro-white station. And I, I didn't get any threats. I got crickets. And it's not just me. The white supremacist groups have had a real problem. They're the most anti-DNA testing organizations in the country because they're losing members. They're having members who thought they were white that wanted to have a racial war with black people only to find out that they're not white and say, can I still be a Klansman? My DNA is like 30% black. I didn't know. And so they're being told... Forget about what that says. The, those are bogus. We need the members. Yeah. So even your white supremacist organizations, in fact, one of the greatest so-called white supremacists was a mulatto named Fritz Kuhn, the founder of the American Nazi Party. They couldn't even get a real Aryan, whatever that is, to form a hate group. And it goes on and on. And I assure you, if you ever look at some of the most vocal anti-black spokespersons in the country, they're never blonde hair, blue eyes, blue eyed. I had an experience many years ago of meeting one of the grand dragons of the Christian Knights of the Ku Klux Klan named Michael Burden. And when I got down there, I almost had to fight with the Klansmen. It wasn't over him hating black people. When I saw him, I exploded. <laughs> I cursed him out because it says you're a mulatto. Damn it. I came all the way down here to see a high yellow black person. I told him, you're a Cherokee black mix. What the hell is this? This is a fraud. You need to pay me my gas money back. <laughs> I thought that's going to be the blonde hair, blue eyed white guy, Germanic, about 6'2". I mean... Short with dark hair, and it says, "Look at your eyes. You got eye folds. You, you're a damn Indian. <laughs> you, my God, you, Yamasi, you're not even a white person. Man, I threw a tantrum in there. He wow. had to put his head down. He had to put his head down. He's not really white. What the hell is all of this? I thought that's going to be the Klansman. I told him I have relatives." Lighter than you. <laughs> By the way, he quit the clan. Um, but it's like, damn. You were all that way to see a black self-hating black man one in the clan. Yeah. Told him I could go to Howard University. 